Well, several of you have requested that I make lemon bars, so I picked up the Krusty's lemon bars because I think these look really, really good. Um, we were at Big Lots, so I bought them there. They were $2.25. I don't think that's, that's a bad price at all. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. You need an eight by eight pan, and I like to buy these, um, these pans uh, that you can just, you can take them, Kevin can take them to work or wherever, and you can throw them away. You don't have to worry about the, the cleanup. Um, and the, it has a, uh, a clear dome, a clear, clear lid. So I really like these pans. So we grease the pan. You need one third cup of water and three eggs. So I'm gonna open up the mix and I'll show you what you get. There's the, the mix, and it says Meyer lemon filling, and then this should be the crust. Yes, this says crust, so they let you know which is which. So we're going to put the crust over there. So what you do first is you stir together the water and eggs until well blended, and then you add the, the mix. So let's do my my eggs. Okay, now you let that sit. And you're going to take the crust mix, and I don't know, you try to find a good place to cut this where it's not gonna get everywhere. And it says you press this firmly into the bottom of the pan. And this is going to bake for uh, 8 to 10 minutes. So I'll put it in for 9 minutes and then we'll be back. Okay, it was in the oven for nine minutes and it said it would come out pale. So this is how it looks. Now you take your... Uh, mixture it's just it's been sitting this whole time i haven't touched it and you stir it just a little and then you pour over the hot crust the instructions made sure it said hot crust so that you don't wait until it cools off Now we're gonna put it back in the oven. Make sure you put your gloves on because remember your pan's hot, it just came out of the oven. We're gonna put it back in the oven for 26 to 28 minutes. We're gonna do it for 27 minutes and then I'll show you how it looks when it comes out of the oven. Okay, this just came out of the oven and you can tell that it's uh, cooked because the edges are brown. Um, now it says on the directions to uh, chill for one to two hours and store it in the refrigerator. Uh, I do not feel comfortable putting a scalding hot pan um, into the refrigerator. So I'm going to let it sit out for uh, probably a half an hour and let it get to room temperature at least and then put it in the refrigerator and we will chill these for uh, one to two hours like it said and then we'll uh, cut them and uh, try them for you. Here we are with the lemon bars. Of course, Kevin's gonna try them with me. Um, I try to do my best to, to cut these the way that they want you to, but um, they wanted you to get 18 bars. I got 16 bars. So um, I did four rows of four. I don't think it's bad. I don't think that's bad either. But anyway, if you had 18 bars, it was supposed to be 140 calories. This is probably about this is, 50 or 60. So. Right. So can't stress about it too much. But this has been in the refrigerator for probably two and a half hours. Mm. 
It's very thick. Mm-hmm. Very thick. In the bar, um, the layer of the, the crust itself on the bottom is pretty hard. That said, I, I like the flavor of the lemon. I don't know that I care for the thickness so much of it. It's pretty dense. It is, yeah, it's incredibly thick. Um, it's like drinking a really thick milkshake. Yes. Um, and then the lemon to me, it's good, mm -hmm. but it's a little too tart. It's very tart. I mean, if you like lemon, you're you're gonna like this. But, mm -hmm. but if you don't like lemon at all, avoid this at all costs. If you're just okay with lemon, I think I think you'd still avoid this. In all honesty, these are good, but these are not the best lemon bars I've had. Mm. Kevin makes some awesome lemon bars. I don't know if they're on YouTube or not. I don't know. Lemonade bar. I if they no are, doubt. you can give a link. If they are, then I'll put a link right here. They're somewhere around in here to where you can <laughs> click on it. And yeah, somewhere you'll be able to click on it and it'll open in a new window and you'll be able to watch him make them. If not, then that'll be a video that we'll try to do because yeah. I really, really like the flavor of his bars better. It seems like I've done this, but I can't remember. I think you have. Uh, his bars are not this thick acidic. Kind of, yeah, acidic. Acidic. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not this thick. They're more like a, um, a coconut cream pie kind of consistency like a right. cream kind of a cream pie like thing right. jello cheesecake <laughs> right so anyway this was fun i'm glad that I'm glad uh, we, tried we tried them because i have seen them around a lot and i wondered uh what they tasted like and now i know they're fine they'll pass in a pinch but i would rather have kevin's yeah. so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching